A common exam style question uh, runs like this. Simplify root 75 plus root 27. And it usually then says as far as you possibly can. Okay? So root 75 plus root 27, we should be able to simplify both of these parts independently. So root 75, that's the first thing that we're going to do. So square root 75 I know is the square root of 25 times 3. So I've picked out the square number that I know is a factor of 75, 25. So root 25 times 3 will be root 25 times root 3. So the square root of 25 is 5. So this is 5 root 3. Then I've got root 27. So I want to do a similar job with that one. So the square root of 27 is the square root of 9 times 3. So I've looked for the square number that I know goes into 27, 9. I know it goes into 27 3 times. And then I can split that square root apart into square root of 9 times square root of 3. Square root of 9 is 3, so we have 3 root 3. So what we have is root 75, which I know is 5 root 3, plus root 27, which I know is 3 root 3. So I've currently simplified it into this format. Now I know that if this is algebra, okay, and I have 5x plus 3x, I can write that as 8x. And in exactly the same way, I can write this as 8 root 3. Because effectively what I'm saying is that I've got 5 root 3s here, I've got another 3 root 3s here, so together I must have 8 root 3s. And so that is how we can simplify something like this into a single element like that.